Alzheimer's disease is the most common type of dementia affecting over 6.7 million Americans. It is a progressive, incurable neurodegenerative disease that reduces cognitive abilities such as memory, comprehension, language, attention, reasoning, and judgment. Alzheimer's disease significantly alters the daily life of affected individuals as well as their family caregivers, who typically provide extensive daily support that can result in caregiver role strain. Alzheimer's disease is caused by physiological changes in the brain. Classic features are neurofibrillary tangles and neuritic plaques, composed of abnormal proteins called beta amyloid and tau, that damage neurons and disrupt impulse transmission. Risk factors include age, genetics, and lifestyle choices, with 33% of people aged 85 or older having this disease. Examples of lifestyle changes that reduce the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease include participating in daily physical activity, staying socially and mentally active, maintaining blood pressure in a normal range following a healthy diet, and stopping smoking. Alzheimer's disease is classified into three categories of mild, moderate, or severe based on the degree of cognitive impairment. Most people with mild Alzheimer's disease are able to function independently but require assistance with some activities to maximize their independence and remain safe. Handling finances and paying bills may be especially challenging, and they may need more time to complete common daily tasks. They may still be able to drive, work, and participate in their favorite activities. Individuals with moderate Alzheimer's disease experience additional problems with memory and language, are more likely to become confused, and find it harder to complete multi-step tasks such as bathing and dressing. They may wander, become incontinent, and have difficulty sleeping. Personality and behavioral changes may occur, including suspiciousness, agitation, and depression. They may experience increased confusion at night or when lighting is inadequate, referred to as sundowning. They may also begin to have difficulty recognizing loved ones. Individuals with severe Alzheimer's disease lose their ability to verbally communicate and typically require around-the-clock care. Because areas of the brain involved in movement become damaged, they may become bed-bound. Immobility makes them vulnerable to additional medical complications such as blood clots, pressure injuries, skin infections, and sepsis. Damage to areas of the brain that control swallowing causes dysphagia and can result in aspiration pneumonia, a contributing cause of death among many individuals with Alzheimer's disease. While a definitive diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease can only be confirmed through autopsy, tests like cerebrospinal fluid analysis and PET scans offer insights into the presence of beta amyloid and tau proteins that indicate Alzheimer's disease. Diagnosis is typically made by healthcare providers using neuropsychological tests like the Mini Mental State Exam MMSE and the Clock Drawing Test, while using other tests to rule out other potential medical conditions that can cause similar symptoms. Medical treatment aims to slow disease progression and manage symptoms. Medications like cholinesterase inhibitors, amyloid-targeting agents, and glutamate regulators may be prescribed to maintain memory, attention, reasoning, language, and the ability to perform simple tasks for as long as possible. Psychotropic drugs are reserved for clients who have dementia psychosis because these drugs are considered chemical restraints. Nursing interventions focus on maintaining safety and promoting optimal functioning and independence for as long as possible. Depending on the client's symptoms and stage of dementia, interventions are tailored to the client's situational needs. Other interventions include providing cognitive and memory therapy, reducing anxiety and agitation, improving communication, promoting adequate nutrition, supporting bowel bladder continence, balancing rest and activity, and educating and supporting family caregivers. Health teaching for caregivers is crucial to enhance their understanding of their loved one's behaviors as symptoms of Alzheimer's disease and to learn how to effectively manage behavioral changes to keep them safe. For example, techniques such as maintaining a daily routine, reducing environmental stimuli and using distraction, redirection, and reminiscence to reduce agitation are examples of recommended interventions. Overall goals in caring for clients with Alzheimer's disease are ensuring safety, preserving function for as long as possible, and promoting well-being for the client and their family caregiver. Specific outcomes are identified based on the client's current health status. If these goals and outcomes are not met, nurses modify the nursing care plan and collaborate with the multidisciplinary team to revise interventions and promote quality of life.